Shifting gears now at 11, courageous work by a Mayport based Coast Guard crew brought in nearly $200 million worth of illegal drugs, stopped it in the ocean. The crew aboard the Cutter Valiant detected the vessel while out on routine patrol in the Pacific, and that led to the arrest of four smugglers trying to transport thousands of pounds of cocaine. Our Shelby Danielson spoke exclusively with a Coast Guard lieutenant about the unexpected mission. The risk is high, but this is what they train for, and the condition was just like this. Pitch black, hard to see anything, but much further from land. You can hear the wind, the waves, and the boats, but you can only see as far as the flashlight shines on the water. This is video taken from the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Valiant crew as they captured a 40-foot self-propelled semi-submarine in the eastern Pacific. Hey, hey, we need to get them over on a boat! Inside of which was 12,000 pounds of cocaine, according to the Coast Guard. That's the equivalent weight of an Asian elephant. You're chasing down a vessel at high rate of speed, which often happens. It's definitely a dangerous evolution. And then getting on board these vessels is also dangerous because they're not they're not very seaworthy. Lieutenant Commander Christopher Klein says drug smugglers will try all kinds of tactics to get out of an arrest at sea, from lighting their vessels on fire to purposely trying to sink. Uh, stopping one of these vessels has a, has a big effect. Klein says smugglers have shifted from the Caribbean region to the eastern Pacific over the past decade. That gives them a wider range of water to hide in and puts them at a greater distance from unreliable factors such as hurricanes. Drug trafficking organizations are definitely paying attention to the environmental factors. And so are the Coast Guard members. As they were out at sea, Hurricane Dorian was approaching Florida. While our Coast Guard members are out conducting operations, you know, they're thinking about their families that, are, you know, have to leave the area due to hurricane. The four captured smugglers are now being prosecuted by the U.S. Attorney's Office in Tampa. That wasn't the only major achievement by the Mayport crew. According to Valiant's commanding officer, the drug bust coincided with a special Mariner's milestone of crossing the equator. So they stopped that smuggling vessel and crossed the equator all within a day's work. For First Coast News, I'm Shelby Danielson on your side.